Hello! And welcome to this episode of The Walking Dead 400 Days. On the last episode, we were talking to zombies, and now I shall talk to Mars Abbey, because we're the zombie talker. Zombie whisperer, we're like, what is your problem? Hmm? Okay, anyway, let's go. Let's go talk to zombies. What are you eating, man? What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is it? Oh. What is that? Is that a puppy? What the fudge? Why is she eating a puppy? Don't eat puppies. You play with puppies. And you keep them as pets and then they grow into beautiful, loving, beautiful creatures and... You don't eat them! Don't eat them! <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... and now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Where is Roman? I'm thirsty. It scared me. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come that on, was, we gotta was, find Roman. That was great voice acting. Come here, everyone. It's okay to be dead. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. They got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. We all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. We'll send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Oh boy, we don't need any more people but here. Kind of... And look at him. How is he he gonna... can't even speak making... English. Weird this group noises. works because we know how to communicate. <laughs> we can find a way for him to help. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon what? and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the stranger's boat the whole time. Oh and my at the god. first opportunity used us to take it from his group at gunpoint. Oh my god, I recognize these people. He can't stay here. They're all kinds of survivors. Keeping him here is not an option. Oh my god. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. 
It's got to be one or the other. I don't we know. are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Oh, great. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Oh, man. This is deep. This is really deep. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do you Get got? him some food. When? Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. Get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. <laughs> I'm scared that I did. I'm so scared. I don't want to have made the wrong decision. I'm too nice. Well, I'm not too nice, but you know. Oh, it's totally going to come back with more people and eat us and like. <laughs> Do you have any fours? Nope. I'm scared. Do you yes. have any sevens? Yeah. Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Okay. And I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's I open. Who Boyd is. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Some crazy shit, man. Who is Boyd? I forgot who Boyd was. No one's watering these. Oh, I lost Boyd because of my decision, Chad. I can't see what it is. Is it a road? Hey, Joyce. She's gonna be like. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. What do you mean? What the hell? Why would she want to leave? Is 
Is she in the truck? Is this really necessary? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. Is she in Sorry. there? What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? No, I'm gonna talk to her first. It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. Why can't I talk uh, to her? Why tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell, what's wrong? That's all I have time for this episode. Well, what you'll find out, uh, you'll find out what I'll say to Becca on the next episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.